welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of experiencing e-invoicing on the e-invoice sandbox system using Tally Prime. This is an e-invoice sandbox facility that you can use to experience the process of e-invoicing on the sandbox system using Tally Prime before you go on to generate e-invoice on the live e-invoicing system. Even if you do not have a Tally Prime license, you can try this delightful feature in educational mode. The only constraint will be that the educational mode allows transactions dated only the 1st, 2nd and 31st of any month. We recommend that you take a copy of your company data or create a company with some other name to experience e-invoicing using this sandbox facility in Tally Prime. This is because the e-invoice generated on the sandbox system will have the QR code and IRN details. Creating a new company with a copy of the data will ensure that your original data does not get affected. So, you can use your original company data and generate e-invoice on the live e-invoicing system seamlessly. The process of experiencing e-invoicing on e-invoice sandbox system using Tally Prime requires two steps. The first step is a one-time registration for generating sandbox credentials on the e-invoice API testing system. Before you proceed, it is important to know that you can generate your sandbox credentials only if your business is eligible for e-invoicing with turnover exceeding rupees 50 crore which is the eligibility criteria. The e-invoice API testing system identifies the eligibility through your GSTIN. If your business is not eligible for e-invoicing, then you will not be able to register and generate your sandbox credentials. Generate sandbox credentials on the e-invoice API testing system. Open the e-invoice API testing system on any browser. Click register here. It will lead you to the registration form. Under user type, choose taxpayer. Enter GSTIN of your business. Press enter. Your company's trade name will automatically appear. Under GST registered mobile number, enter your mobile number that you have registered on the GST portal. Similarly, Enter your GST registered email ID and then enter the CAPTCHA. Click send OTP and you will get an OTP on your GST registered mobile number. Once you receive the OTP, click validate. Under mobile OTP, enter the OTP. Click submit. Once you complete the validation through OTP, you need to enter details in the create account form. Under your GSTIN, enter the GSTIN of your business. Select GSP under the registration through field. Under company, select Tally India Private Limited. Enter your registered email ID under the email field. Under click ID, you will need to enter the ID that you can see on the screen. Now, enter the username and password that you want to set as your sandbox credentials. Confirm password and click create. Once you register on e-invoice API testing system using the process, the next step will be enabling sandbox access in Tally Prime. Open Tally Prime and then load the company data on which you want to experience e-invoicing through e-invoice sandbox system. Ensure that you do not use your live data while experiencing e-invoicing on the sandbox. Load the company on which you want to try e-invoicing through the e-invoice sandbox system in Tally Prime. Then press F11 
company features. The company feature screen opens. Now click more details. To view more options, press enter on show more and then press enter on show inactive. As you can see, there is an option called enable sandbox access under other details. By default, the option will be set as no. Bring the cursor to the option and press enter. The sandbox access screen opens. Set enable sandbox access to yes and press Ctrl A to save. This is a one-time setup under F11 that you need to do for the company. Once you set this option to yes, you will be able to experience e-invoicing through e-invoice sandbox system using Tally Prime. Let us pass a transaction eligible for e-invoicing and see how it works. Before that, ensure that Enable Goods and Service Tax GST is set to Yes in F11 Company Features and in the GST Details screen, e-invoicing applicable is set to Yes. Now, open a sales voucher in Tally Prime. Press F12 and set Send e-invoice details after saving voucher to Yes. Press Ctrl A to save the voucher. The e-invoice sandbox login screen appears. Enter your sandbox username and password that you had set during the registration on the e-invoice API testing system. Press Enter. As you can see, Tally Prime is exchanging information with e-invoice sandbox. Once the information required for the e-invoice generation is uploaded on the e-invoice API testing system, you will get a success message saying e-invoice generated successfully. Thereafter, the IRM details will be downloaded and updated in the voucher. As you can see in the print preview, the IRM details and the QR code are printed in the invoice. You can also generate or cancel e-invoice for a voucher or multiple vouchers in bulk from exchange on the top menu. Click exchange or simply press Alt Z and then click send for e-invoicing. The send for e-invoicing screen appears. Select the transaction you want to exchange with the e-invoice sandbox system and then click send. You can also select multiple transactions if needed. Thereafter, you can enter your sandbox login credentials and press enter to generate IRN for the transactions. However, the e-invoice sandbox system does not allow you to upload JSON files. So, if you click offline export, then you will get a warning message as you can see on the screen. Let us relook at the process of experiencing e-invoicing on the e-invoice sandbox system using Tally Prime. The first step is generating your sandbox credentials on the e-invoice API testing system. And the second step is enabling sandbox access in Tally Prime after which you can pass a sales transaction and generate an e-invoice to experience the process in Tally Prime. As you saw, this e-invoice demo facility in Tally Prime using Sandbox system provides you with the e-invoicing experience before you go on to generate e-invoice on the live e-invoice system. Thank you. For more information, visit help.tallysolutions.com.